Leonardo da Vinci was born on April 15, 1452, near the village of Vinci about 25 miles west of Florence, which is now known today as Italy. He was the illegitimate son of Sir Piero da Vinci, a prominent notary, and of a woman named Katrina. Not much is known about Leonardo's childhood, except that when he was 15, his father apprenticed him to Andrea del Verrocco which was the leading artist of Florence and the early Renaissance. Verrocco was a sculptor, a painter, and a goldsmith. He had a great concern for the quality of execution and expressing the vitality of the human figure. These elements were important in the formation of Leonardo's artistic style. It should be noted that much of Leonardo's approach to art originated from using tradition rather than rebelling against it. After completing his apprenticeship, Leonardo stayed as an assistant in Verrocco's shop. One of da Vinci's first known paintings was Verrocchio's Baptism of Christ. Leonardo executed one of the two angels as well as a distant landscape, and he added the final touches to the figure of Christ, determining the texture of the flesh. Around 1478, Leonardo set up his own studio. In 1481, he received a major church commission for an altarpiece, which was later known as the Adoration of the Magic. This was an, an unfinished painting. The painting Leonardo has placed the Virgin and the Child in the center. Traditionally, in other paintings of this theme, they have appeared at one side of the picture, approached by the kings from the other side, instead of the opposite, which is what is being done in this picture. His first painting done while he was in Milan was the altarpiece named Virgin of the Rocks. In Virgin of the Rocks, you see the Holy Family in a cave. You see the darkness in the dim light which separates the objects. This seems to be Leonardo's da Vinci go-to for settings and backgrounds of his pieces. The previously mentioned artworks seems to have created a path and artistic style of Leonardo da Vinci. As I was struggling to find an artwork for this presentation, I wanted to pick something that I was going to be interested about, something that I was going to be passionate about. I didn't know how to start until when I was flipping through the book, the war art book, I found the picture of the Last Supper. The Last Supper is really important to me because throughout my upbringing, I ran into this painting various times at church. There's one in my kitchen, there's one in my living room, there's one in my dad's house, my mom's house. Everywhere I go, this painting is there. It's symbolic to me. So, uh, I will begin evaluating uh, Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper. is a mural painting which was said to be created around 1495 or 1496 by Leonardo da Vinci. It is one of the world's most recognized paintings. It can be found in the convent of Santa Maria del Grazi in Milan. The church of Santa Maria del Grazi is one of the most beautiful Italian churches and typical of the late Gothic architecture of Milan. It was built by the Dominicans on 1463 and completed on 1482. In a short construction period during 1463 to 1482, the main part of the church and convent were built in the late Gothic style. Under the rule of Ludovico Moro, work began on a large site. Built in the late Gothic Gothic style, the church was designed by the outstanding artist Barmante with the new style of the Renaissance. It is assumed that the work of both Leonardo da Vinci and the architects strongly influenced each other to create such a masterpiece. The shape of the church is strictly geometrical and different in the Romanesque style. The Last Supper was painted in the refectory of the monks. The refectory 
It's like the dining hall in the basilica. The location of this painting is symbolic because it is a reminder that every time they eat, they have to look up at, at this religious painting, which is Jesus' Last Supper. The symbolism is still relevant today because every time you buy one of these paintings or portraits, you need to have it blessed and then it needs to be placed in a kitchen or a dining room table so it could bless your meals and everything. The medium used to paint the snail was tempered paint which was placed on a plaster wall. Due to the paint not sticking on the wall, it began to flake and peel off. So many attempts have been made to recreate it, but the original painting is barely intact. Let's take a look at the Last Supper from Andrea del Castaño, which was taken on 1445 to 1450. And it is located in the refectory of the convent of Santa Apollonia. Leonardo seats the diners on one side of the table so that none of them have their back to the viewer. Castaño excludes Judas by placing him alone on the opposite side of the table from the other 12 disciples or placing halos around them except for himself. Da Vinci uses Jesus as a focal point, therefore creating the illusion of a halo. This mural contains shape. Both the images of Judas and Jesus create an image of a triangle as shown as the picture here. Leonardo not only uses shape, but he uses iconography and numerology in his mural. Triangles have three sides representing the divine three, which mean trinity and theology. The divine three include the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Squares have four sides representing the earthly force, which are elements and cardinal virtues. The squares represent the number four. The number four symbolize the four evangelists of the four-winged beast in the vision of Ezekiel, which later reconstitutes in the New Testament as the four beasts of the apocalypse in the book of Revelations. Da Vinci uses the constant repetition of the numbers 3 and 4. In this picture, it shows that there are four groups of three. The four groups of three are represented by squares, while Jesus is represented by the triangle. Behind the groups of people, there are four windows. Behind Jesus, there are three, hence the triangle. And now that we have went over the numerology, the iconography, the Christian symbolism, and other forms of art created within this mural, which was done by Da Vinci, I am now going to present my artwork. I entitled my artwork, Last Thanksgiving. This picture was taken over the holiday weekend of Thanksgiving dinner. I decided to take this picture because we were all together in family. Da Vinci creates the illusion that the viewer is participating in the dinner. In my picture, I give that illusion as well. This is accomplished by viewing the empty chair, which invites you as a viewer to our dinner. I also use numerology using the numbers three and four. There are four chairs, yet only three of us. Four pops, yet only three of us. Once again, inviting you as a viewer to our dinner. Da Vinci's mural was symmetrical, creating balance, something that was dire to that time. This picture also creates balance and symmetry, something important that we lack in this day and age in families. I 
decided to edit this picture because I thought that the colors were too bright and I wanted to resemble Da Vinci's The Last Supper. I feel like I have accomplished that in some way.